Halo Infinite's customization is going to be insane with armor and weapon cores, multi-generational armor customization, AI customization, weapon charms, and a new multiplayer intro screen as well confirmed by 343. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So the Halo news keeps on a trucking guys. The recent multiplayer reveal has got people talking and some developers have actually confirmed some information outside of the multiplayer overview video which gave us a ton of information about customization within Halo Infinite. So we wanted to break that all down for you. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos make sure you tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So we learned a lot of information from the multiplayer overview from 343. So a lot of information is going to be coming from this video, but more granular stuff to really kind of understand what they were talking about because they glazed over a lot of really interesting topics. But a really cool thing I want to talk about when it comes to this multiplayer overview, guys, that it was trending number one on YouTube. People are excited about Halo Infinite's multiplayer, which is just super exciting and very reassuring to me as well. Because like, I'll be honest, that what we saw from the reveal that it wasn't the flashiest thing but it was just pure halo experience but i guess that's enough to get people's interest to have the halo multiplayer overview being the number one trending video on youtube so the hype is there and a big part about this multiplayer overview they talk about player customization and expression. And that's why I wanted to cover a lot in this video because they have a lot of really interesting bits of information. So first I'm gonna talk about armor cores and weapon cores as well, because this is gonna be your main source of customization within Halo Infinite. So going to the Halo Infinite webpage really does a great job of showcasing what armor cores actually are as they were confirmed within this multiplayer overview from 343. But I think this does a really great job. As you can see right here, the first thing they mentioned is the armor core, which is a Mark VI Olympus. But if you switch over to another armor set, you can, of course you can also check out the coating, helmet, visor, left shoulder, right shoulder, gloves, and knee pads. That's all customizable. But if you switch over to another spar in here, it's the Mark V Reach armor set. So this means that we're gonna have like multi-generational armor sets within Halo Infinite, because I know a lot of people love their armor sets from different types of games, Halo 3, Halo 2, Halo 4, even Halo CE. So what it seems like we're gonna have with this core system is that you're gonna have your set base of armor customization that you can have for your Spartan. So like, for example, with the Reach armor core we're looking at here, you can have the EVA helmet with Emil's face on it. You can have the crazy shoulder pads and just all the different kind of armor customization you would expect to see from Halo Reach. But then we go over to the Halo Infinite side of things with a new Mark VII armor core, you'll be seeing much more newer armor sets as well, especially with different kind of undersuit tied with that as well. If you guys remember from this video as well, they talk about the Samurai armor set as well, and that's an entire core in itself. So it seems like there's gonna be some unique armor permutations for that armor core as well. We'll probably see additions to these armor cores throughout the seasons as well, like new shoulder pads for the Mark VII armor core which I did do an Ask343 tweet about this, asking like, well, if we have these different kind of cores, does this mean we can have different armor sets throughout the different Halo generations? So like, you can have a CE armor core, you can have a Halo 4 armor core, Halo 3 armor core, and things like that. But really give players more customization, more options to check out. Because right now, all we've seen is just the Mark 7 Olympus variation, which sounds like there are gonna be multiple variations of the Mark 7, as well as the Mark 5 Reach variation, as well as the Samurai armor core, as well but now we're going to be talking about weapon cores as well which is going to be very interesting to check out if you take a look at this it says right here the ma40 assault rifle is a rare weapon core and the important terminology to look at is core so this makes me think that there's going to be different versions of these weapons that we're going to be seeing within halo infinite with various cores to the assault rifle which we did have this confirmed in a previous inside infinite development update talking about that there will be weapon variants coming back with in Halo Infinite. So knowing that there are weapon cores and weapon variants, most likely these variants are gonna be different cores you can have for your assault rifle, your pistol, and things like that. Now, are these things gonna be like set on the map that you can pick up? So you set your assault rifle to be like some burst rifle version of the assault rifle core, and that's what's gonna be in multiplayer? 
or is multiplayer maps just gonna have that as like a variant you can play with? Again, the closer we get to release and no more information about Halo Infinite, that stuff will be a lot more clear. Now, do remember we also do have weapon charms as a bit of a customization as well, which we didn't really see at all within this multiplayer overview when it comes to player expression. Now, we do know these are a thing as they were from codes that you got from buying different toys and things like that for various products. They had weapon charms attached to them as well for in-game content. Now, we haven't seen them yet. As soon as we get a chance to see those weapon charms, I guarantee I'll let you know. Now, it looks like we actually also have a new multiplayer screen intro for you guys to check out as well. Twitter user Matty McD tweeted this out saying, if this is part of the new pre-match intro, then I'm totally with it, which you can see it kind of looks like a bit of a scroll through like a freeze frame of all the members on your team, zooms right into your Spartan, you start playing the game, which is like a really cool immersive way to kind of get started off a match. And scrolling down, Tashi, the lead at 343 HCS multiplayer experience says, it is, and it's sick. So what you're looking at right here is the beginning of a multiplayer match. This is actually a pretty cool way to kind of go from that transition of like a new intro to showcase all the new armor sets and stuff like that, kind of like what we had in Halo 5. But now you can have just like a zoom right into multiplayer experience rather than having that hard cut that we had in Halo 5, which didn't really look the best. Now this is way more immersive. You just don't get taken out of the action whatsoever with this cool transition. And the AI customization is gonna be a very interesting thing to see like how useful it's going to be or how interesting it will be as well. Uh, one thing I thought was kind of interesting is that the AI that was showcased within the multiplayer overview, you hear their voice speaking. Personal AI, designation button. And the voice sounded very familiar to Shaxx from Destiny 2. Why can't they all be like you, Guardian? Personal AI, designation button. Possibly the same voice actor in Halo Infinite as well. Because if you guys know Shax from Destiny 2's multiplayer, he has some very iconic lines that are just sometimes over the top and hilarious, but also really awesome and badass at the same time. I think this AI customization is kind of supposed to be like a nice middle ground from Halo 5 where you can just change the voice of different like in-game callouts like flag take and overkills, double kills and stuff like that. Where you probably still might have Jeff Sticer kind of coming in with like the double kill, triple kill stuff. But then the AI customization is more kind of for the minor personal callouts rather than the big team knowledge team callouts that we have from Jeff, Jeff Seitzer. But yeah, the big thing that's going to be driving the personalization, the experience, and the customization is going to be the Battle Pass system. Now, it seems like from what was talked about within this video, that it seems like you kind of have to buy into the Battle Pass for the customization. Though I really don't feel like that's going to be the case. Like, yes, this multiplayer is going to be free to play, and the most likely there'll be some kind of in-game currency you can kind of grind out to purchase items with that in-game currency rather than spending hard-earned cash. Though he didn't really make it sound like there was a way for you to just play the game and earn the Battle Pass normally. Though it does sound like if you want to go to a previous battle pass you'll probably have to buy into that one as free to play players will most likely have to stick with just like the current season that's going on which is a really great feature and probably re very user friendly as well and lastly a really cool thing is going to be halo waypoint and how it's involved with customization they show a quick screenshot here showcasing the waypoint app and waypoint website just showing how you can customize your spartan from the app right there keep track of your progression and the battle pass as well now this next inside infinite development update should be releasing on Thursday, which we will get some really in-depth information, which we will cover on this channel, guaranteed, guys. And I think we'll get some more information about Halo Infinite's customization on Thursday, so make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date with everything going on with Halo, guys. So if you missed any content from me recently or beyond Loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.